Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and today we're going to be talking about Join the Future Number One from Aftershock Comics. That's right, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups, and we are going to be giving an advanced review of Join the Future Number One, which arrives in shops this Wednesday, March 4th. 2020. It comes out from Aftershock Comics. It's written by Zach Kaplan with artwork by Piorge Kowalski, Brad Simpson on the coloring, Hassan Otsman El Hal on the lettering. A fantastic team. They do a fantastic job. This is a futuristic sci-fi western type thing, right? But it's different than maybe what you think. The idea, the premise of the story to me is really cool. So now the world is kind of existing in this utopian type way, right? In these giant mega cities. And there's only, I guess, maybe a few of these mega cities spread throughout the, the world, right? And so everybody that lives in these mega cities, they've got universal health care, universal income, everybody's able to do what they want to do, they're able to chill out, they've got towering indoor gardening, they've got everything provided for, they, they all seem happy and all this kind of stuff. The only thing is you have to live in the big mega cities to have that. There are some people who live outside of these megacities, who don't want to move, who don't want to give up their land. And it seems like what's happening is that they're taking the land and letting it go wild, reintroducing animals into the land, making it more wild and, and nature again, which of course puts the outliers, the people that don't want to join up with these megacities, a little bit more at risk for nature, right? Maybe they got shortages of food, they've got shortages of medicine and access to medical facilities and stuff like that, so it's a serious problem. So you have this dichotomy presented between these people who have literally almost nothing to worry about as long as they're part of the system, and then the people that don't want to be a part of that system, that want to be a little bit more old school, a little bit more natural, a little bit more down to earth and grounded, if that makes sense, right? But the book, as a uh, comics bookcase, Zach over there wrote a review for this and basically said something just profound, I thought, about this book, was that the book doesn't go out of its way, at least in this first issue, to to cast judgment on either way. It just kind of lays it out there, right? The book itself, aside from just a really cool, interesting concept, is very well written. The writing is very brisk. It's not it's not a it's not like there's sparse dialogue or anything like that. There's plenty of text, there's plenty of words, there's plenty of information in the book, but it's delivered in such a masterful way that when I hit the end of this book, I was like, no, no, I want more right now, especially because the book has a very crazy cliffhanger. Um, so I really like this one. I thought it was written very well. The artwork is very solid and it does its job exceptionally well, especially with Brad Simpson's coloring. He's able to take um, the duality of the story, the duality of these two worlds, and the art really does convey that in a very subtle manner. Hassan Osman El Hal continues to be one of the best letterers in the comic book industry. He does an excellent job with this one. It arrives in shops this Wednesday. This is kind of like a pick of the week warning right here, but join the future number one this Wednesday. Hear what my, um, see if it makes the, the pick of the week. We'll see. I don't know. I just, I re it's going to be hard to top this one. I'll tell you that one. This book was awesome. I highly encourage you to check it out. Go to your comic shop. Call them up right now. Send them an email. Give them a Facebook message. Whatever it takes. Tweet at them. Do whatever. Let them know you want a copy of Join the Future, number one, from Aftershock Comics. This book was great, and if you like a lot of the other books I recommend, I think you'll really, really like this one. Anyway, thank you so much for checking out the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Join us over at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. I've been Rockin' Robbie Billups. Thanks for rocking with us. Keep on reading.